Well, just talking there a bit of good news around the club this week in terms of the, the youth team getting through to the, the cup final. That must be pleasing. Yeah, well, I think it shows, you know, um, you know, one of the things that the owner, uh, Les Hutchinson, talked to me about was the development of players. Um, you know, and I know the, the, the guy that's running that end of it, uh, Scott Leach, you know, who was following my assistant, you know, so Scott is, you know, highly qualified for doing the job that he's doing in that department and is doing a fantastic job, you know, he really is, and is bringing through boys to the, uh, the under-20s that are good players. And then, you know, with Craig's, and his um, uh, the support that he's then uh, given Scotty, you know, at the next stage, is uh, is developing boys, which you know we're now seeing, for instance, you know, Ben Hall, um, Chris Cadden into the first team, you know. So it, it's the process has started to work. You hopeful that there's a, another layer under that, then you can follow in their footsteps and contest your team. Well, we think there is. We think there's, but there's even one or two around uh, at the moment, you know, Don Thomas, um, you know, um, Dylan. Uh, Mike and uh, you know Fergie, who are out on loan, these boys, you know, have got the potential to to, to be first team players here, um, and that's only you know including the two boys that are in. That's that's five, you know. So th th there are others, you know. So yeah, and below that, there's others still to come up and join the ranks. So yeah, we're really encouraged about the um, the work that everyone's doing at the academy level, including obviously the recruitment which is really important because without that, Scott Leach doesn't have the raw material to develop and to bring on. Um, but, you know, it's something that this club requires and that the owner um, desires. Common consensus when you won at Tannadice seemed to be that that was Dundee United gone. What have you made of the recovery or signs of recovery? Yeah, well, they went and won a couple of games after they, they, they you know, we beat them and then I think they beat Hearts, you know, which really was a surprise to most people. Um, uh, you know, Hearts had beaten us a little bit earlier, six or whatever it was, you know, and I felt that Hearts would challenge um, Aberdeen at least for that second spot and maybe even as Aberdeen are doing, challenge Celtic for the top spot. Um, but they seem to have had a wee bit of a wall, um, but then United took care of them, you know, so you've got to be impressed by the, the, the sort of mental strength that, you know, that Mixus showed to keep his team above, we said, above water, because that night they were down. You know, I don't mean down relegated. I just mean depressed. You know, so uh, uh, about what had happened that night. So to recover for that, win the games and bounce back the way they have, and uh, it has been, you know, pretty impressive. You need to then do what they did in the cup last week as well, and so on. Does it does it show that they, they perhaps still can stay up despite that the gap and the number of games obviously running out? I think that um, uh, they still got still got a lot of work on it to stay up. But I think it's not impossible that they could maybe claw their way up to that second bottom and get themselves in a playoff. You know, so there's different ways of staying up. You know, you can automatically stay up, but you could win the playoff. So, you know, at worst, you know, they have, uh, the form they're showing, I think they would have a chance of um, of doing of doing that. I mean, I'm not, I'm, I'm not, I'm not sure, don't know about fixtures. I don't know if they still play Kilmarnock uh, twice or, you know, play them once before the split or that. If they, if they have the likes of Kilmarnock to play, then they, they, they have a chance. Yeah, I, I think that, you know, one of the things I spoke about over those weeks was the disruption to training and the, the levels of intensity that we were able to achieve at training, which I had to think had been really important during that good spell. Uh, and now we've been able to get back on grass really more often than not. And uh, that, that's resulted in a better intensity and that's shown in the team. What we've also done is we've kind of changed the shape a wee bit and we've found a wee bit of a formula in the sense of the, the three front men are working their socks off and making it very difficult for uh, uh, all opposition at the moment, certainly over the last two games. So if they can continue that, then obviously we're, we're, we're optimistic. I'm just going to take Chris next to it. Are you surprised just how well he's grabbed his chance and since you've been a team, he's never looked back. Uh, surprised, um, delighted. Uh, I mean, what happened with Chris is one of the group that I looked at and felt he was a good enough player that he should be nearer the, the first team. And we took him and we worked on him since, you know, the day I got here, the sports scientists and the physios and the team behind the, the backroom team have worked with a couple of these boys and couldn't, couldn't Chris and Chris has worked very hard to get himself physically stronger, uh, you know, uh, physically more able 
to compete in first team level and he's got himself up to a level where we thought right now physically he's looking better he's looking more like a man and we would give him a chance and it, like you say rightly he has taken his chance and he week on week gets better and better so yeah I, I think I'm delighted uh, with him uh, not totally surprised because we, we thought we'd high hopes for him and um, and he's he, he's achieving our ambitions for him so yeah delighted uh, Louis Lang struggling. He got a, a groin injury that's resulting in a swollen uh, thigh, and it looks as if it will at least keep him out this week, maybe even a couple of weeks. Is that the goal? I saw. I, I think we, we really think it might have happened something before it, but the, the, the goal kind of exacerbated it. You know, I think that um, he woke up during the night on Saturday, Sunday, and it had really swollen up badly. So it was a bit of a surprise to us, but yeah, I think partly what happened at the goal, yeah. That must be a blow, because he's obviously waited a long time to get back in, and it's done really well. The, 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 the biggest blow for the boy, you know, yeah. I mean, he's, he's done brilliantly to recover psychologically, to the point where he, he's able to go in the team, and then with each game he was getting better, you know, and he brings a different kind of dynamic, you know, he's big and he's fast, and he's got that great range of passing, which was really good for us, you know. Um, given the way we've been kind of playing recently. Um, so, yeah, it, it's, a, it's a blow to us, but more than then, I'm disappointed for the boy.